What I worry about is that the science may actually evolve faster than our ability to accept it. I think that you know a lot of people feel stigma when they go out and begin thinking about uh, early screening. And I'm interested in whether or not what we need to do, let's just take the money side off of it, but if we have opportunities driven by science and research and whatnot that are just very different today than just a few years ago, can't that help change the burden curve? Uh, absolutely. And, and Massachusetts and the legislature, uh, the state government has historically been great in um, uh, funding areas uh, where uh, we, we knew that you know, we needed to give the industry uh, a little leg up and because we're competing with other parts of the country as well. And we've done that in, in various different areas. Um, so, you know, there is an economic development bill that's being developed. Again, you know, we have all these financial concerns that we have to worry about. But we've always um, been, you know, forward thinking and knowing that, you know, if we want to thrive in the future, we have to spend some money now. And so that's what the legislature is looking at right now. But also, it's just not every community is hit the same, and I'm not sure we know why. I'm sure maybe some of you might know why, but the disparities are out there. But the disparities are out there. How much is that a part of the policy map that we have to also get right? Well, yeah, absolutely. It's very important. Uh, we all know that you know uh, life expectancy is a lot lower in certain communities, uh, majority minority communities, and there's a whole host of reasons for that. Um, and you know, I think we, you know, Massachusetts again, we we're we're ahead of the curve. There's still a lot more work to do, um, but you know, we need to treat everyone fairly and give everyone you know a good healthy shot at living their life and being productive, members of society. Uh, you know, we could talk about that for a week, right? On, on uh, you know the unfairness of of uh, you know where people live. And, and how you know they they don't have the money perhaps you know, to have a doctor or the, to have the right job to have the health insurance and so forth. So we're yeah. now looking to extend that training to first responders, police, fire, EMTs, who are often the first person to um, encounter a person who's suffering from Alzheimer's or related dementia, and they obviously present with different issues than your average person who falls and breaks their ankle and calls 911. 